Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the black smoky eye look. I feel like it goes around every year, but we're gonna go ahead and do it because I wanna show you guys how I would do it. It's really easy. It's not as complicated as it looks. I have some new products as well to try. I tested out the Primark, basically the dupe for the face base, and my microphone wasn't on, but this is it on my face. I've done my brows as well with Pink Honey, and I'm just gonna let the skin sit whilst we move on to the eyes. Before I go in with eye primer, I do wanna finish my brows off. The best, and I think everyone raves about it, it is the NYX Lift and Snatch. I love this stuff. Even if you're not doing like soap brows, it's so quick, so easy to fill in your normal brows. Honestly, 10 out of 10. So I just follow literally the direction of the hairs as I work my way through the brow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that quickly for you. I'm gonna go in with room of three all over my eyes. And I was contemplating whether I wanted to do this because you will see with the next step, but I think it will just help with the rest of the shadows that we use. The first thing you want to do is take an eyeliner pencil and make sure it's sharpened. You can warm it up in the back of your hand, popping this all over my eyelid. This whole look is a trust the process look. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's literally just to create a base for the black and make sure it's as opaque as it can be. I'm going to take a medium slash small fluffy brush. This is the B11 by Spectrum Cosmetics. What you're gonna do is start buffing this out. It's already looking so much neater. This is why you shouldn't take it up as high as you want it to like smoke out because we go in and we do this. Feel free to take this either outwards or in a circle, however you want. Look at that blend. Com that blend compared to what we've got going on here. For the eyeshadow, we're using the Too Faced Pretty Rich Palette. And I'm gonna go in with It's Kashmir as our transition shade which is this, I can't speak, honestly. It's this one right here. And I'm taking the B10 brush, which is a fluffy and just a bit bigger than the last one that we used. 50% on where we've placed, well, where it's blended out to, and then 50% above. With my brush. I'm gonna take the A28 brush, which is like a flat top kind of dense brush. I'm taking the color Coal Under Pressure and this is a black shadow with speckles of glitter as well. And we're going to pack that on the lid. Where we place that black eyeliner, you are going in with this. Again, this bit isn't neat at all. Like, it literally looks like this. Then I'm gonna take the same brush that we used for the eyeliner. We're just gonna start blending out those edges and making it look nicer than what it does. I'm just using circular motions to just really get that to soften out. Never mind like the whole edge that will be neatened up. You literally, it's better to go like over the top and then it will all blend out better. So I've just added in some more black and I'm gonna go back in with the transition shade and do exactly what we did as before. Then from the same palette, I am taking the color Oh That's Rich, which is this one right here. And we're taking it on a B12 brush, so it's a smaller fluffy brush. Taking that, and I'm going to place this right where the crease is. Start from the middle, and then I work my way around. Also went in with whatever was left on this brush, and just fixed any areas where I feel like it may have like creased going over that area with whatever's left, you know what's coming. We're taking back in with that transition shade and we're just going to blend everything together again. And just take it out. The glitter I'm taking is literally, I got it from a fancy dress shop and it's like a black glitter. You can put glitter glue on as well, but I'm just gonna take it on my finger and see how we get on really. multi-colors as well in it. 
I also just cleaned up the edge as well. So this is what it will look like right now. It's very glittery. I just went in and popped on the TL3 Foamy by Tatty Lashes. I feel like these lashes need a look like this and a look like this need these type of lashes. If you watched my last tutorial, you know I tried out the Be Perfect Cosmetics Foundation. I got a shade too warm, so I'm gonna try balance it out with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation in 7 because this is too light. So this used to be part of my kit when I used to take like makeup bookings. Taking one pump of Charlotte Tilbury and then this pump doesn't work unfortunately. So I'm going to unscrew it and then look at it. This combo I did try yesterday for a TikTok video and loved it. So of course your girl is using a flat top brush because I live for it. I just think it makes it so much more even. And really buffs into the skin so the way those two foundations are blended together it's like the perfect match obviously we'll let it sit for a bit as it always just like oxidizes or whatever and you'll be able to see we can go on to concealer so I picked this up yesterday and it's the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour more than concealer so you can wear this like on its own as well almost like a foundation and I actually got the shade vanilla never use this fresh we love to see it. Very bright shade, but I love a bright under eye, especially for like a look like this. Take my beauty blender and I'm being a bit lazy to get up and wet it. I'm just gonna spray it. As you all know, I always like to let this sit. The consistency of the concealer is very similar to the e.l.f. like camo ones, um, but I'm just gonna start blending. That is very opaque it's, and that's what i like i hate a sheer concealer this has been so easy to blend out opaque as well still got a good coverage on that we blend out the more coverage you get new favorite concealer goes to this honestly have no fault for it i just can't complain i'm actually going to try a powder that i haven't tried in a while um because it used to give me flashbacks so I'm going to try it out for this look just to see the coverage and stuff like that. But it's the Too Faced Born This Way. Obviously, this is in translucent, 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 even if it means just to get rid of it. Like, we're just going to keep giving it a go. You know, might have some good days. It weren't always bad. Obviously, holy grail for everyone right now is this baby here. Okay, one thing I do say about this, though, it is, I find it is thicker of a product than like the Huda Beauty. Um, so the coverage, maybe the powder just needed this puff because I've never seen it work like this. Maybe everything's on my side today because I love it. And then I'm gonna just take some under here because I just love that. It really, really just crisps up your powder and everything. I'm gonna bronze up with another new product. I needed a new bronzer for the longest. Honestly, I just was, I don't go through bronzer as much as I go through like blush or anything. I can, I usually skip bronzer a lot of the time, but I also do like it. So yeah, I got the MUA Bronze Perfection and this is like their bronzing wheel. So you can go in and use the different shades or swirl them all together and use them together. There is a shimmer here as well. So I think I'm gonna like keep it a bit matte though. So I'm gonna try and avoid this and see how we go. So I'm just gonna stop bronzing up. Okay, I thought nothing was coming for a second, but it's a nice shade from like my eyebrow just to connect it all. And the reason I do this before I dust the powder away is because I feel like it just softens it out. This was cheap as shit as well. This is my holy grail of a brush to dust. Don't use anything else. It is, can't even tell you because it's rubbed off. Oh, the contour brush from Real Techniques. So again, I'm just gonna go in with the transition shade first, all under your eye. Then I'm gonna go in with the second transition shade which we use, which is this like dark purple. And we are just gonna apply that take some black eyeliner into my waterline i'm gonna go in and deepen that purple up again i'm gonna take like a smaller blending brush this is the a13 and i'm gonna like really smudge that second transition shade underneath the eye again i mean you can definitely go in with black as well i'm gonna take my mascara i got another new mascara i got the sky high 
by Maybelline and this is the Cosmic Black. Blend my lashes together with the falsies. Okay, and then we're gonna pop some on the bottom. And it just brings it all even more together. Can't complain. Moving back to the skin, I'm gonna go in with the MAC. This is the Into Eternity Electric Wonder Iridescent powder this like bronzy purpley shade it is a bit shimmery which is why i'm glad i kept the bronzer matte but i can't not have blush and i know i said this look is a bit more bronzy and this is the bronziest type of blush i have so we're rolling with it and then i take some on my nose that is that done and i'm gonna go in with the estee lauder bronze goddess highlighter and this is modern mercury and Always go under my brows as well to catch it. And then nose tip, very like gently down the nose. What I might do is add it in the inner as well. I'm gonna take the A22 brush. It's like a rounded smudgy brush. We can move on to the leaves. And this is another new product I picked up, which is the Elf Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. Picked this up, I didn't think it was dewy. But I do still want to try it and I know it's kind of like a matte base, but hopefully it's fine. I always do an X and a T. So when you do an X and a T, but like join them up, so you're kind of going like an X and then the joined up T. At this moment in time, I do want to be safe and just go for a nude lip. I might change it to a nude lip after, I might give you both options. But I went and picked up, so I don't know if you guys saw, I have the MUA Nourishing Lip Gloss in like their nude. And I really, like I loved it. So I went and got this shade because it is quite in right now. So this is the lip liner in, if I can see it, read it, Survivor. So I'm going to line my lips with this. This is with survivor on and i actually do like the fact that the lip liner is darker than the lip gloss because that's always the way it needs to be so the lip gloss is also in survivor and i'm just not a dark lip gal like i just don't think it suits me this is for anyone who likes a dark lip I am going to go change it to a nude because it is just more me and what I would feel comfortable with. So I just took like my foundation brush and like went over my lips so that I can get rid of any purple. Lip liner by Pretty Little Thing X Amrezy. I'm pretty sure it's called Brownstone. Now I have two lip glosses. So we've got, they're both from Shades of London. So we've got Shades of London in Honey, which I love. And then we've also got Spiced Rum. I personally think honey, honestly guys, these lip glosses are my new favourite. So moisturising, blend with everything so nicely. Yes, that lip is giving what it needs to be giving. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously a bit out there, but it's party season and I hope you found this helpful. I think one tip when it comes to looks like this is... Wait until you finish your makeup and always add lashes. Just balances everything together. If I'm honest, at one point when I put the glitter on, I was like, me, you've ruined it. I'm obsessed with how this looks. I just can't get enough of it. I can't even believe I've done it. Go ahead, use this tutorial, go and surprise yourself. I hope you found this useful. If you did, let me know down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it would mean the world to me. It is definitely party season and I am obsessed other than that i'm gonna love you and leave you as always and i will see you in my next video bye